Welcome back to another episode of In the Neighborhood. But this episode is gonna be a little bit different from my previous episodes, as I'm gonna be talking about all these beautiful Polaroid cameras that you see here on your screen. I'm gonna be going over the differences between Polaroid 600, Polaroid SX70, the different types of Polaroid film, and why these cameras are so special and unique in particular. I also got a package that I'm gonna be unboxing right here live in the neighborhood. I got the homie Warpy, Mini Warpy, and Bear with me. Shout out to Euphoric Supply. You can check out one of my previous unboxing episodes to get more information on Euphoric Supply and why these pieces are so special to me. And I am also a proud owner of a Euphoric Supply NFT. Euphoric Supply is doing a lot of big things in the NFT space. You can also check out my NFT collection, but we're gonna talk more about NFTs on another episode. So sit back, relax, get your popcorn. Another episode of In the Neighborhood. Back, back, what up y'all, what up y'all, what up y'all? So this video is brought to you in part by Photodom. Right now, I am in Photodom Studios. Photodom is also a black owned camera shop located right here in Brooklyn, New York that specializes in everything film and analog photography. So if you're looking for a 35 millimeter camera, a 120 camera, whether it be a point and shoot or something that is a little more affordable, you can find all of your film photography needs here at Photodom. Everything from accessories, to clothing, to an assortment of 35 millimeter film and 120 film. You can find all of that right here at Photodom, located at 1717 Broadway in Brooklyn, New York. You can pick up some rolling papers, pick up a grinder, you know. I also got this camera strap from Photodom. You can also find some Polaroid film. If you ever need to shoot some Polaroids, come find some Polaroid film here at Photodom. Photodom also does film processing for all formats of film, including 35 millimeter color, black and white, 120 color, black and white, 110 film, as well as providing prints. Photodom also carries one of my exclusive skateboards that actually features some of my polar photography on the skateboard exclusively at Photodom. Eventually, I'm gonna put those on the website as well, and we're gonna talk more about everything that I got coming up with In The Neighborhood and things that you'll be able to find on intheneighborhood.shop. So I've been shooting Polaroids now for about 10 years. A lot of people know me for my Polaroid photography, my portraits of people on Polaroid film. And these are some of the cameras that I use to capture some of those portraits. I've been using Polaroid 600 film, which is a lot different from SX70. I'm gonna go over the differences and explain the differences between the two films. I've been using primarily my SX70 camera, which Gary has converted to shoot 600 film. And I tell you why that is so special in particular and why I choose to have my camera converted to shoot 600 film. So the reason I love Polaroid photography in particular is because when I was first in the market for my own camera, I wanted something a little more tangible than a digital camera. Uh, with digital photography, you know, you can get very, very good, perfect, crispy images, but I wanted something a little more nostalgic, something that I could just pretty much be on the go, on the run with. So I decided to look for a Polaroid camera. In the beginning of my photography journey, I was actually borrowing a friend's digital camera. And at the time, I was borrowing it and using it way more than he was using it, but it just got to the point where I needed to find my own camera and I needed to purchase something for myself. At the time, especially, being that digital cameras were so expensive, I was definitely looking for something on the less expensive end and also something that just felt a little more tangible. I was thinking about getting a 35 millimeter camera, but I didn't really know where to start there as I didn't really know that much about photography, especially film photography at the time in 2012. So I actually just went on eBay and I was searching Polaroid cameras and I came across a $25 Polaroid camera that I actually purchased and started using right away. And uh, and that's how I started my film photography journey. Back in 2012, when I discovered that Polaroid wasn't making any more film, I thought it would be a waste of time, but then I actually discovered Impossible Film. Impossible Film was around in 2012, and I would go to the Impossible store in Soho and buy film pretty much like every week. So that's how I started my Polaroid journey. A fun fact, my first gallery exhibition ever was at the Impossible Project space back in 2012, 2013. That was actually one of the biggest moments in my life, one of the first times I was able to exhibit photography at a gallery. So 
Shout out to the Impossible team from 2012, 2013. That was the best team I ever worked with to this day. So these Polaroid cameras are so special in particular because they are custom made Polaroid cameras. They're custom made by longtime collaborator Gary Greco from the West Coast. You won't be able to find these unique cameras anywhere other than Upcycle Classic. So Gary and I have been collaborating for a number of years now, particularly on custom Polaroid cameras. And he's just been a great supporter of everything that I've been doing. These are not your everyday average Polaroid cameras. So let's just talk about some of these cameras that we have now and the differences between them. So these four are Polaroid 600 cameras. The main difference between the Polaroid 600 and the SX70 is that the Polaroid 600 actually has a plastic lens. So in the right settings with the right light, you can definitely get a great Polaroid portrait with the 600 as opposed to the SX70 camera that's actually made with a glass lens. Being that this Polaroid camera is a glass lens, you can get a lot sharper images and you can um, you know, just have more fun with this camera in particular. You have the ability to zoom in and out and you also can slightly change the aperture on this camera. I love the SX70 and this camera in particular is the SX70 Sonar. To keep it plain and simple, it's pretty much an autofocus. With this sonar technology that Edwin Land created when he developed the first SX-70 camera, well, the first SX-70 sonar camera, because there are two different types of SX-70 cameras. One comes with the sonar that allows you to pretty much autofocus, and another camera was made with no sonar that you have to manually focus on your own. This camera also has a feature where you can turn off the sonar feature and you can actually manual focus and get that crispy, crispy photo that you are looking to get. But I like this camera in particular because a lot of my photography is on the go. A lot of my photography is sometimes at night in dark areas. So the sonar allows me to get that quick, sharp photo without having to manually focus. So for the Polaroid 600 cameras, you will definitely need to go with the Polaroid 600 film, which actually has an ISO of 640, as opposed to SX70 film that actually has an ISO of 160. Now, the difference between the ISOs is the film speed. Film speed helps you get a darker or brighter photo, pretty much in simple terms, you know? If you do wanna check out more about the Polaroid camera and its features and its origin stories, you can also check out the episode that I did with world-renowned YouTuber Marquise Brown Lee. We actually did an episode on Polaroid where we went around the Lower East Side and we shot some Polaroids with the SX-70 camera and we compared them at the end to see the differences between styles and the differences between the cameras that we were using at the time. So head over to Marquise Brown Lee's YouTube channel to check out that Polaroid episode. Back, back. But back to the cameras. So what makes this camera so special in particular also is that Gary actually converted this to shoot 600 film. I like to shoot faster ISO speed, but just because I feel like it gets more color when I shoot with the 600 film in the SX-70 camera. I want the same sharpness that I could get while using the SX-70 camera, but I also want the faster speed with the 600 film. Now, if you did have SX-70 film for your SX-70 camera and you wanted to shoot it at a 600 speed, you can actually use an ND filter. You can put an ND filter pretty much over your film and that would allow you to achieve an ISO of 640 as opposed to 160. Some of my photos that I've shot, I've definitely used the focal feature to get a better depth of field. This has a focal length that goes from infinity to really, really, really close up on your subject. Some photos to really get the look that I'm trying to get, I need to be able to focus in and out. And that's why I love using the SX-70 camera as opposed to the 600 camera. The SX-70 camera, you can get really, really, really close on the subject or something in the photo to actually make it way sharper. So that's pretty much the main differences between the SX-70 camera and the 600 camera. This has a aperture of F8. And uh, if you look here, you can actually adjust the aperture settings slightly just by one stop at a time. And it's, you know, it's not exact, but it allows you to pretty much get more light into your camera. The aperture pretty much allows you to get more or less light into your camera to achieve the shot that you want to shoot. I like to shoot really bright photos. I like really colorful photos. So sometimes I might go a little bit to the white on the SX-70 camera. You can also do that on the 600 camera, but like I said, the SX-70 camera is just a little more powerful when it comes to its capabilities. 
So another reason why these cameras are so special in particular is because these are custom made cameras. These are not your average ordinary Polaroid cameras. These are unique because they are custom made by Gary of Upcycle Classic. So he runs a brand called Upcycle Classic and he specializes in custom Polaroid cameras. He's also a Polaroid photographer himself and as an artist and as a photographer, sometimes we want to express ourselves just a little bit more. So like with this camera in particular, when we communicated about making this camera, I actually wanted to model this camera after the vintage Apple logo. So this has a blue body, as you can see, fully blue, and it has a, a green upper with a dash of yellow with the shoot film actually engraved into the Polaroid, as well as the red, the orange, and the blue. So if you check out the vintage Apple logo, you'll see that this camera was pretty much modeled after the Apple logo. This camera in particular, I was working on some apparel at the time, and I was going with the orange and white colorway. So I wanted him to customize this camera to pretty much match the apparel that I was making at the time. So as you can see, this has a white body with some orange accents, also with a hint of silver in the body of the camera. I love this camera. I love all these cameras. These cameras are all unique in particular. You're not gonna find these cameras on Polaroid.com or anything like that. The one place that you can go to for these cameras is Upcycle Classic. Shout out to Gabby. So this camera is also special in particular because my wife actually had an idea to create a Say Cheese camera. So you know, classic saying, when you're about to take a picture, the photographer says, say cheese. So this is actually modeled after a block of cheese, as you can see. So when you open it up, Gary actually custom made this to say, say cheese right here on the camera itself. And uh, with, a, with, a, with a block of cheese, if you can see that. And Gary pretty much made my wife's idea come to fruition with this say cheese Polaroid camera. Looks like a block of cheese, you know? Say cheese. <laughs> we don't got no film in this one right now. So this camera is also special in particular because this was actually a two-way collaboration. So I contacted the Smiley Company, which is actually a company based in the UK, and they are actually the owners of the trademark, the Smiley Face. So I contacted the Smiley Company because I wanted to do a Polaroid camera giveaway for one special person. Now this camera is actually not the camera we gave away. The camera that we gave away looks a little bit differently, but this is basically the sample that Gary sent to me as an idea of what we were gonna create eventually. As you can see, it has everything custom made with the smiley face. The classic yellow, the smile on, when you get ready to take that picture, you know you gotta turn that smile on, you know what I'm saying? Smiley face, and also this is actually the brand's trademarked logo, smiley. So this camera is a one of one, of course. This is not for sale. This is just a sample that we created in collaboration with Gary, also in collaboration with the Smiley Company. So there actually is one lucky person who has the other Smiley camera that was the final version of what this was created to be. But I love this camera in particular, and just shout out to Gary for always being able to pretty much make the cameras come to fruition with the ideas that I give to him. He's been an amazing collaborator, an amazing supporter of everything that I've been doing. He uh, is also, like I said, a photographer himself, so he understands the aspect of wanting to just get a little more colorful with your cameras and being able to just express yourself through photography more than just a photo. This SX-70 camera is actually also custom made by Gary, and he custom made this to make a yellow Polaroid camera. It's not every day that you see a bright yellow Polaroid SX-70, so shout out to Gary for making this happen. You know, when you close it up, it looks just like that. The yellow with the silver, you know? The yellow with the silver is special. I love the silver SX-70 in particular. It just has that nostalgic feel. And uh, yeah, man, shout out to Gary for making this vision come to life. I told him I wanted something different, something bright, something unique, and he delivered with this bright yellow SX-70 camera that is converted to shoot 600 film. So right now, we're gonna do the unboxing. Shout out to Gary for sending me a brand new camera. I have no idea what's in here. 
I'm in for a surprise. This actually just showed up to my house unannounced. He didn't tell me he was actually gonna send me a brand new camera. He just did this out the kindness of his heart. And shout out to Gary for just being an amazing supporter of everything that I've been doing. A supporter of Polaroid photography, a supporter of the arts, and a supporter of just me moving forward and progressing as I take on this journey in the neighborhood, you know? So right now, we're just gonna open this up right here, see what we got. I'm excited to see what we do have. Cause like I said, this was very unexpected. I had no idea he was gonna send me this camera. So the special thing about these cameras too is that they're collector's items. Although these cameras pretty much all do the same thing, it's just something unique about having multiple cameras as collector's item, kind of like art pieces in your house. The same way I have the Warpy as an art piece in my house, I also collect Polaroid cameras to have as art pieces in my house. So these are all works of art by the big homie Gary. Uh, handwritten notes it says, I hope you're doing, I hope you, I hope you're all doing good there. Something I thought you would enjoy. Take care with the smiley face. Shout out to Gary, man. Gotta love the handwritten notes too. And it looks like we got another SX70 camera. But let's see what this is. Okay, another, <laughs> I love Gary, man. Another yellow SX70 camera, except the difference with this one is that this is actually with the black plating. I got another Polaroid camera to add to the collection, but this time it's with the black plating, with the yellow. And this one was, oh, we got the yellow button too, okay. So the yellow button with the yellow cover on the black Polaroid camera. Can't go wrong with this, this is beautiful, this is beautiful. This is just another art piece that I'm gonna display in the crib, but I'm also gonna definitely put this to use, you know? This is beautiful, man. This is, this is, this is so beautiful. Shout out to Gary, man. Two SX70 cameras, black with the yellow, yellow with the silver. Beautiful, works of art. So just to give you a quick idea on the different capabilities of the different Polaroid cameras, I'm gonna be talking about a few of my favorite images that I shot with the SX70 camera. So for example, I shot a Polaroid at a homie True, also known as Don't Watch TV, where he's holding a spray can in the lens of the camera. I wanted to give off the effect that he was kind of spraying the spray paint onto whoever's looking at the photo. And I used the SX-70 camera to get a little bit more depth of field. So another Polaroid that comes to mind is a Polaroid that I shot of the homie Perry, also known as Perry Yon, who's a musician, where we were doing a photo shoot in the Lower East Side and he actually had a spliff. So with the spliff, I wanted to get the spliff in focus and I wanted his body and the background to be out of focus, which pretty much gives me like a good depth of field to get the spliff in focus. So I used the SX-70 camera to really get close up on the spliff and that way it created that depth of field effect where his body and the background was pretty much blurred out. And of course I got that with the SX-70. A few more Polaroids that come to mind is like a Polaroid of Jay-Z that I shot that's really, really, really sharp. And a lot of people ask me how I get sharp images. So with like a Polaroid of Jay-Z that I shot, a Polaroid of Pharrell that I shot, those are very, very sharp images because I used the SX-70 camera. And of course, in those environments, when you're around these certain types of people, you wanna get a fast shot. You don't really have time to basically manual focus and get it as crispy as you want. So the sonar helps me to get that image in focus. So with those Polaroids and a few more that I'll put up on the screen, you'll see how sharp these images are compared to other images that you may have seen shot with Polaroid cameras that may have been shot on a 600 camera that doesn't really allow you to get that super, super, super sharp image. I like sharp photos. Even though it's nostalgic and a Polaroid is not supposed to be perfect, I still wanna get that sharp image on Polaroid just to create that timeless, classic shot. You know what I mean? The Polaroid camera is opening doors for me. It's a lot of opportunities. I've been able to meet a lot of people. I've been able to shoot a lot of people. You know, the first time I was actually compensated to shoot anybody was on Polaroid and it was actually Pharrell and Daniel Arsham. So shout out to Pharrell and Daniel Arsham for pretty much popping my cherry in the photography industry as being my first paid gig. That was back in like 2012, 2013, you know? But even fast forward to 2022, 
The Polaroid camera is still opening doors for me, still providing opportunities. A lot of people love my Polaroid photography. And, uh, and you know, what can I say, you know? Shout out to Polaroid Photography, shout out to Edwin Land. So I'm also here to announce the next giveaway for a Polaroid camera and a few packs of Polaroid film. There's only one way to enter. Make sure you head to the Discord, and when you get to the Discord, in the giveaway channel, type we here. You will automatically be entered to win the giveaway. I will be doing the giveaway at random, but the only way to enter is by joining the Discord and in the giveaway channel, just type we here. That will allow you to be entered into the pool for the giveaway. You know, you could win a Polaroid camera and some Polaroid film. Everybody needs Polaroid film, you know? And who doesn't need a brand new Polaroid camera? So make sure you head to the Discord today and enter to win in the giveaway channel. Just type, we here. Just make sure you join the In The Neighborhood Discord, which is a community for everybody. You don't only have to be a photographer or an artist, you can just join the chat and just, you know, join the conversation. Welcome to the community. Just a place where you can meet new neighbors and just, you know, politic with people in the neighborhood. We have different channels where you can talk about just what's going on in your daily life. Photography channel, the giveaway channel where I announce different giveaways. Talk about what you're watching today. Talk about new movies on Netflix or anything like that, you know? Meet your neighbors, you know what I'm saying? Love thy neighbor. Just show love in the Discord, you know? So if you made it this far, thank you for watching another episode of In The Neighborhood. If you haven't already, check out season one of In The Neighborhood, where I went around to different neighborhoods, shot a lot of photography, met a lot of people, shot with Polaroid, 35 millimeter. And on season two, I'm gonna be using a lot more different cameras. I'm gonna be giving different camera reviews. I'm gonna be talking about the differences between the different cameras. And there's a lot more to come in season two. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for In The Neighborhood season two. You know, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Follow us on Instagram, PV in the neighborhood. You know, it's all about the neighbors, man. Love thy neighbor in the neighborhood. So before I go, I just wanted to show you a few things that's coming to in the neighborhood.shop. So you may have seen the Pharrell skateboard that I dropped on my Instagram that I have not released yet. In addition to that skateboard, I will also be releasing these two skateboards, which feature my Polaroid photography and artwork by yours truly. So this is the Jay-Z Polaroid that I was referring to earlier. I actually remastered it and uh, created some artwork surrounding Jay-Z, as well as this Polaroid of Swiss Beats that I actually remastered. And I pretty much put one of his quotes on the skateboard. So coming to intheneighborhood.shop will be this Jay-Z skateboard, this Swiss Beat skateboard, and the Pharrell skateboard to complete a trio of skateboards shot by yours truly in the neighborhood. Be on the lookout. Make sure you check out intheneighborhood.shop and join the Discord for first dibs. In the neighborhood, baby.